Hi, my name is Oliver Tiedemann and today I would like to introduce the new Cicabo Smart Transfer app. The Cicabo Smart Transfer app is available both for iOS and Android devices on the App Store and on the Google Play Store and you can use it to control your Cicabo Smart heat transfer press. When I open the app um, I'll go into the start screen where I can connect to my heat press. Uh, on the top I get a list of all the heat presses I was previously connected to and uh, in the nearby devices section I can find new heat press that have not been connected before. So when I connect to the TC5 Smart in this case I'll get the start screen which is the dashboard. The dashboard is one of the four main sections in my app. Um, I have the dashboard, I have the work section, um, I have my profile and I can adjust some additional settings. Let's start with the basic mode, the manual mode that can be used in order to operate the heat press. When I enter the manual mode I'll get the current machine settings which is uh, 14 seconds and 165 degrees that I want to have. Um, I can now do manual adjustments so by just clicking the arrows I can adjust the temperature and I can do the same with the time by increasing or decreasing. Uh, it's even easier if I want to directly enter a value I just click on the actual figure and uh, I can then enter the temperature I want, for example 120 degrees Celsius and then it will automatically set the press to this value. Um, the, uh, below the parameters I have the current time and temperature so when I close my heat press it will start the countdown and uh, it's counting down both in my app and also on the heat press display. Once it's finished the press would automatically open. In this case it won't uh, because otherwise you wouldn't see uh, the display. Below the actual settings I have the transfers that have already been done. So in this case I can see two transfers that uh, were already produced with this current job and I can enter some additional parameters if I want to redo the job later so I know which parameters are used. I can uh, enter the actual pressure between low, medium and high. I can have my pre-pressing function. With the pre-pressing I can flatten or dry the garment before I actually press on it. So um, I can do my adjustments of uh, let's say three seconds for the pre-pressing and if I have set it to automatic it will automatically switch between pre-pressing and actual pressing function. Then I can set my uh, base plates which are very important uh, because they basically define which pressure I am using. So um, here's a list of the available base plates. If I have a smaller base plate um, I'll in fact apply a lot higher pressure which will result in shorter required pressing times. In addition I can have some covers. For example if I put a silicon mat on top it will automatically add up two seconds to the time I've set because uh, the silicon mat will take up some of the heat energy that is applied onto the garment. When I click the apply changes I can now see um, the pre-pressing it's 10 plus 2 seconds um, because of the Teflon sheet and for the pre-pressing I have 3 seconds which I can see in the display. So um, if I close now it first does the pre-pressing and afterwards it will do the actual pressing which we can then also see in the app again. Um, if I create my job I can uh, rename the job. So usually when I'm working for a client uh, I'll have a job for example uh, I can call it t-shirts. So I just enter that here and um, click continue and now my job is named t-shirts. If you don't enter your name it will always be called unnamed job with uh, the current date and time so you can remember when it was produced. If I want to create a new job I can click the new job button and if I want to load a job I can easily click the load job button where I can get a list of all my previously uh, used jobs that I have renamed uh, and produced before. Um, the second uh, screen uh, is the work screen. In the work screen I can switch between the manual and the comfort mode. Then I have my profile. In the profile I can get a list of all the jobs I have made. That's basically the same screen we've seen before. So I have my list here. These are all the available jobs I've not done before. And if I click the info 
icon um, in my app. I will get into the details of the job I've created. Um, I can see which date they was, it was created, when it was last used, when it was last modified, uh, how many transfers have been done with the counter, um, which time, which temperature, all the additional parameters, and I can also add some personal notes. Um, for example, additional information, which graphic it was and uh, for which customer it was. I can duplicate that job if I want to redo the job again and create a new job with exactly the same parameters or I can load this job and then I'll get back into the working screen uh, in that job. Uh, in the bottom you have the possibility to give us feedback for the job because we want to know how well parameters worked for your material so we can improve that in future versions of the app um, so we know how good it works. Uh, on the top right, uh, we can see the little trash can, which can be used in order to delete the job. In the settings panel, um, you can switch the language. We currently have English, German, French, uh, Italian and Spanish, uh, with more languages to come over the next few weeks. Um, the temperature units can be set between Celsius, Fahrenheit and Kelvin. And uh, yeah, the app details are just uh, some legal information. Now let's take a look in the comfort mode, which is actually the most important and the main feature of the app and that will give you the most benefits. Uh, in the work mode, I can select the comfort mode. And in the comfort mode, I do not need to know which parameters the uh, producer of the heat transfer vinyl told me uh, or which are the default values, but uh, you will access our database and you basically just tell the app which parameters you want and uh, you'll get the correct settings. At first, I'll select the substrate. Um, I can in this case select between polyester and cotton. So um, I'll start with the cotton material. Just click it in the app. Uh, after selecting my material, I need to select which brand uh, of heat transfer vinyl I want to use. Let's try the SAF material and in the third step, I'll need to select which material from that manufacturer because most manufacturers have different types of material. So I'll pick, uh, I'll pick the FlexCut Advance. And in the final step, I need to select the base plate. Um, I'll start with a 38 by 38 centimeter base plate on my Sikabo TC5. And now we can see the default settings that are recommended by SAF for this material, which is 17 seconds at 165 degrees Celsius. Um, below we can see the base plate and uh, we have two sliders, one for the time and one for the temperature. Uh, we can see both sliders have a green and a red area. We have done uh, extensive tests on all the materials that are in the database to find out uh, which combinations will work well and which will not. As long as I have my sliders in the green area, I'll get uh, good results that have been tested. So if I want to reduce my actual pressing or working time, I can usually increase the temperature. In this case, I'll increase to 185 degrees. And we can now see that the green area on my time slider increases. So I can now reduce the time down to seven seconds. It's exactly the same material for which I have uh, needed 17 seconds before and now I only need seven seconds just by increasing the temperature by 20 degrees. Um, if you want to change your basic parameters, you hit the top right button where you have all the substrate, brand, uh, medium and base plate. And for example, if you just have a small logo for a breast pocket, you usually would try to switch the base plate to a smaller version. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to switch to an 8 by 12 centimeter base plate. And now we can see that the green areas on both sliders uh, are a lot bigger than they were before. That's because the small base plate applies a much higher pressure and therefore requires less time. So now with this, even with the default setting of 165 degrees, I can easily go down to seven seconds and I can even reduce the temperature to um, let's say 155 degrees. Or if I increase the time, for example, if I have a very temperature sensitive material, uh, if I increase it to um, let's say 15 seconds, I can even work with 135 degrees coming from 165 uh, as the default value. So this can help you to 
work uh, with material that otherwise wouldn't be suitable for a very temperature sensitive material. Below my settings, uh, again, I have the amount of transfers I have already done, uh, which are also counted. And I can have some additional parameters. Again, it's the same with pre-pressing and covers. Um, I cannot set the base plates because they have been set before. Um, again, just as in the manual mode, I can have a new job if I want to create a new job, or I can load my job. Uh, in, the, in the job description, it's also stored whether I was using the manual or the comfort mode with actually all the settings. So if I want to start over with a new job, I just hit the new job button. And again, I can uh, select a different material. Um, for example, here, I select my medium. And uh, now I have all the different settings. And again, I can switch between the uh, different uh, settings on my sliders in order to get the best settings for my job. As we could see, the comfort mode helps you uh, to very easily work with any heat transfer vinyl. Uh, the database has all the major manufacturers in it and it will be extended over time to cover basically any producer of heat transfer vinyl which makes it really easy to use. Um, you do not need to look up the values, you do not need to ask your uh, supplier which are the correct values, it's all in the database. And uh, with the comfort mode, you can use a much wider range of time and temperature combination that we have tested for you. So you do not need to do all the tests, we have done that for you. And uh, you can save a lot of time by uh, using these uh, settings from the comfort mode. And uh, in addition, you can also go on to material that otherwise wouldn't be suitable for a specific heat transfer. Um, this is basically the overview of the Sukabo Smart Transfer app. Um, I hope you have fun with your Sukabo Smart Heat Press and thanks for watching. See you next time.